hello dear students today we are going to discuss is about the uh, linkedin analytics under the uh, digital and social media marketing so particularly under linkedin uh, marketing the topic is about uh, linkedin analytics so we know very well that analytics means uh, any uh, what we can say a report which is given with the on the basis of analysis which is made so linkedin provides us metrics about pages only the company pages administrators can access this tab so through linkedin we can get the uh, pages uh, related to the metrics and uh, only what we can here it is specified that company pages administrators only can able to access this tab so this help them to understand the profile of their followers so uh, through metrics uh, they can uh, able to see means company can able to see that what are the profile what is the profile of their followers like their demographic details reach engagement level followers trend page views and unique visitors so uh, metrics means what metrics is about counting tracking and presenting the past data this is derived from web uh, website means web visits or campaigns etc while analytics on the other hand refers to looking at past and present data that gives rich insights optimizations and prediction so metrics is only related to the uh, past data available with us uh, related to uh, particularly uh, which we can uh, get through uh, web visits and campaigns while the analytics at overall is able to uh, help us to uh, reach insights and optimization and predictions about the future because uh, through analytics we can able to look into past and present both together so analytics is very much helpful for any business now linkedin has broadly divided their analytics sections into three categories so if we have uh, we are a member of uh, linkedin and as a company we would like to have analytics then linkedin provides us the analytics on the, on this particularly you can say three sex on the basis of this uh, three categories first one is updates then second followers and third visitors so like uh, let us discuss about this one by one first one updates the updates section provides insights into the reach and engagement of all the posts that are updated on your on your company page so whatever uh, post we have updated on our company page of the linkedin uh, we can able to get the data about the reach and engagement of the followers the updates section provides the following analytics as we have uh, as we discuss over here that uh, these are the what we can say different uh, <coughs> analytics about each uh, the updates section uh, we can get the data so uh, let us discuss first one is audience it indicates that update and post was sent to followers and targeted audience here particularly if we get the data related to the updates and particularly uh, audience then we get the size of the uh, particular we can say uh, followers or targeted audience to whom our post is sent or our post was sent then second is sponsored if the campaign is set up with sponsored content then uh, we get the detail under this section the next is impressions the number of times the post was shown in linkedin members in their news feed so impressions as we already discussed about this under our we, uh, what we can say introduction of the digital marketing also that impressions means what how much time the advertising is shown in google ads like likewise here also the impressions means the number of times the post which is uh, put by the uh, company on their company's page under the linkedin so it is shown to the linkedin uh, linkedin members in their news feed so this is what the impressions then next is clicks the number of clicks on the post company name or logo so whatever clicks we have received so far as related to the company logo is concerned company page is concerned or whatever post made by the company is concerned uh, if anyone clicks on that then it is counted so this is the uh, data which is related to the clicks either on the post company name or the logo so far as the linkedin page is concerned excludes shares likes and comments here shares likes and comments are not count the next is interactions shares likes and comments are included here so under the interactions we get the data that how much shares likes and comments uh, uh, we received in our post or what we can say company name or company logo like this 
The next is followers acquired. Number of followers a page might have gained after an update. So how much followers uh, is uh, gained by us after what we can say after putting or uh, after uh, posting. So finally we get this how much uh, finally we get uh, we get that how much followers we acquired because of this particular post. The next is engagement. It is a percent percentage form where it will show the number of interactions and clicks and followers acquired divided by number of impressions. So how much number of impressions are there and above that, above that the total of what we can see number of interactions and the clicks and the followers, followers acquired. If the here we can say that if particularly number of interactions is 300 and uh, number of clicks is also 300 and followers are 200 say for example. So total 800s are there but it is received by us because the impressions are 1000. Impressions is 1000. So 800 divided by 1000. So here we can say that particularly 80 percentage en engagement is there. The next is reach. The number of impressions and unique users reached organically as well as through paid campaign. So reach means what? The number of impressions or unique u unique users we reached organically. Organically as we know that without the our paid advertisement directly um, we can uh, reach to the through the organic way and also through the paid campaign. So this all total is uh, known as the reach. So we see over here that how the updates section provides the uh, analytics in this figure. We just see over here that it, it is about uh, reach, organic, engagement, so this is what the um, first category of the analytics sections that is uh, that was updates. Now second is followers. So through analytics we can get the details about the followers also. The followers task is divided into uh, four sections. This uh, includes the types, uh, then follower demographics, follower trends and comparisons. So let us discuss about one by one. First one is type. So, so far as the details we received uh, through LinkedIn analytics about the followers is include the type. First one is type. So which type of followers we received? It includes the total organic and acquired. So total shows you the total number of LinkedIn members that are followers of your company page. So total includes the total number of members, uh, members that follows our company page. Then second organic. It shows the number of followers that you have gained organically means without advertising. So without paid paid aid, what number of members we uh, get, uh, we get is comes under the organic type of followers. Then next is acquired. It shows the numbers of followers you gain using sponsor content. So whatever sponsor uh, content we put uh, through LinkedIn uh, uh, and uh, because of that uh, we get the followers. E uh, so this number of followers comes under the acquired. The next is follower demographics. As shown in figure 6.13, a LinkedIn follower demographics gives the, uh, the breakdown of the, of the pages followers demographics according to seniority, industry, job functions, uh, then company size and more. So we see over here under the followers demographics we get the details like this. Particularly here the detail mentions is about the job function. So job functions includes the what type of job uh, is there mentioned means either engineering or what we can say information. Then um, research, consulting quality assurance like this. Um, but uh, on the basis of that we can say that uh, so far as the followers demographic is concerned we can get the details according to seniority, 
industry, job functions, company size and more. So here we see about the function but we can also get the same information uh, on the basis of company size that whether they are uh, how much uh, from our followers, how much percentage are from the small company size or large company size or the middle company size. Then next is about the uh, follower trends. So the number of followers that has changed over the time. So it is shows that how much followers are there, they change over time. Means time by time, uh, there uh, what we can say trends are changed. Then next is comparison. How you compare with other companies? It is also means how you compare your followers with the other companies. Uh, this data is also available under LinkedIn analysis, analytics particularly we can say. Then this is what we have uh, seen about the second categories of the LinkedIn analytics. Third categories includes the visitors. So visitors section says the following information about the viewers as means the which type of uh, information we get so far as uh, uh, related to the visitors of our company post are concerned. So it includes page views, career page clicks, unique visitors and visit visitor demographics. So uh, what is mean by uh, page views? Page views means how many times the company page was viewed. So this shows the details about uh, how many times the company's page uh, was viewed by the visitors. Under the visitors category of the uh, what particularly we can say uh, LinkedIn analytics. Then second is career page clicks. If a company has a career page, this graph shows how many times viewers clicked on the various elements of the career page. So if the career page is uh, shown by the company, uh, then through this particular what we can say uh, section of visitor, we get the data that how many times uh, viewers clicked on that particular uh, career page of the company. However, of any any one element of the career pages. Then unique visitors. Unique visitors shows how many unique uh, LinkedIn members visited the page. So uh, say for example if the total visitors are uh, 1000 and out of them uh, what we can say they are of different uh, seven categories then seven unique uh, uh, we can say that uh, seven unique LinkedIn members are there or what we can say total uh, views say for example 1000 but out of them individual viewers particularly we here say that out of them individual viewers are uh, 715 then unique visitors are 715. Then next is visitor demographics. This section will show a graph with a breakdown of who is visiting the company's page based on seniority functions industry and company size. So we can get the details about the visitors uh, related to the uh, their demographics. So we see over here uh, the visitor sections that are uh, page views then the unique visitors. So this is what all about um, uh, LinkedIn analytics. Now we are going to discuss is about the targeting under the LinkedIn. A unique feature of the LinkedIn is that it allows page admin to target not only paid ads but also organic content. So uh, what here particularly we can say uh, LinkedIn allows admin to target uh, not only paid ads but also organic content. Most users post content to all followers but this only leads to spamming, uh, spamming and hence users do not pay attention to the content. So if we are what we can say particularly uh, if as a user of LinkedIn we post the content to all followers then uh, the chances of spamming this uh, uh, message is there and uh, uh, here and uh, particularly we can say users do not pay attention on that particular content. So best practice is to target even organic content as content on LinkedIn is highly specialized and is uh, not so, not of general interest. So LinkedIn provides the special facilities related to the, uh, what we can say they can also allow to share 
or to target the organic content. So we are required to use it very well so that we get the better benefit because uh, it is on the basis of specialization, not on the basis of general interest. So it is uh, what we can say uh, more prospective to target, uh, to send uh, our post through con organic content also. Targeted updates allow page admins to target their company posts or updates to specific followers so that they can deliver the most relevant content to the most appropriate audience. Mm. So if uh, we are targeting to the, what we can say, specific followers, then accordingly we can uh, get the more what we can say um, relevant and appropriate audience because these specific followers again target to the uh, relevant audience like this. So as shown in figure uh, 6.15, LinkedIn has rich targeting options as follow. Industry, company, job title, size, seniority, demographics, means gender, age, school education, uh, job function, like this. So we see over here in this figure, targeting audience setting, we can uh, able to set the, uh, to which audience we wish to target on the basis of language, on the basis of geography, on the basis of job function like this. So this is what all about the targeting under LinkedIn. How is, uh, here we are going, uh, we need to discuss that how is LinkedIn targeting different from Facebook. Facebook ki uh, compare mein LinkedIn ka targeting kis, kis tarah se alag rehta hai, ye hum yaha pe dekhte hai. So uh, we know very well particularly here, uh, that here particularly uh, so far as the targeting under LinkedIn is concerned is very factual because all the data which is there provided is by uh, what you can say uh, members only. You must have realized that LinkedIn uh, targeting is very factual based on objective, objective uh, data that users themselves enter in their profile. So this is what particularly here objective data uh, that users themselves enter into their profile. It is not inferred, means conditional or secondary data which is there um, in our, uh, in what we can say other uh, platform like uh, Facebook and Google. And hence it is very accurate and chances of incorrect targeting will not be there. Do you know which is the most popular targeting method on LinkedIn? Title is the most sought after targeting method and probably most expensive too. So we need to here target to the title. You can be clever and target by a combination of seniority and function and reach the same people at a laser cost. So at the time of targeting, we are required to, uh, what we can say, combine the different uh, metrics particular or different selection criteria which is offered by the LinkedIn is here what, as we have discussed uh, these are the different uh, different what we can say targeting options uh, so we can target as per industry company job title then seniority and the function like this so there is uh, what we can say more chances to get the appropriate audience you can target group members and that may be very effective as these members are highly interested in a particular topic. So we can target to group members because uh, we already joined to those groups only uh, which are interested in, uh, in uh, the topics in which we are also like this. A challenge with the targeting options on LinkedIn is that it is unable to capture the intent of the user and thus cannot target in market audiences and it may subsequently lead to not generating conversions and sales. So main, main challenge here under the, what you can say, targeting options is that we are unable to capture the intent of users. We do not know that what is the intent of user actually. And that is why uh, we cannot target in market audience. Means uh, who are audiences are there in market is not, uh, uh, this particular data is not achieved by us. And it may subsequently lead to not targeting or not generating conversions and sales. We are not able to generate conversions and sales. So did you notice that LinkedIn does not have remarketing, CRM based targeting, interest based targeting or look alike targeting in its dashboard. 
जो दूसरे जनरली क्या कहते हैं दूसरे प्लेटफॉर्म पे होता है इस तरह से रीमार्केटिंग या सी आर एम बेस्ड टारगेटिंग या इंटरेस्ट बेस्ड टारगेटिंग इस तरह के ऑप्शन से वो लिंक इन के डैशबोर्ड में नहीं नहीं दिए जाते हैं बराबर क्योंकि हमारे यहाँ टारगेट है बराबर से टारगेट है वो सेल्स जनरेट करने से हिसाब से नहीं है एंड देट इज वाई इट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड हियर बिकॉज दिस पर्टिकुलर लिंक्ड इन प्लेटफॉर्म इज अवेलेबल फॉर अस फॉर करियर डेवलपमेंट एंड प्रोफेशनल लाइफ सो यू कैन रन रीमार्केटिंग कैंपेन थ्रू डिमांड साइड प्लेटफॉर्म्स दो हाउ एवर वी कैन एबल टू रन रीमार्केटिंग कैंपेन थ्रू डिमांड साइड प्लेटफॉर्म्स एज पर द डिमांड वी आर रीमार्केटिंग अवर वॉट वी कैन से डिफरेंट पॉस्ट सो दिस इज वॉट ऑल अबाउट द टारगेटिंग अंडर द लिंक्ड इन आई थिंक यू हैव गॉट क्लियर कंसेप्ट अबाउट दिस Thank you thank you all